Welcome to Primecast, episode 122. My name is Jesse. My name is Wyatt. Um, I guess, uh, do we want to talk about, before we really get into anything yeah. fun and, fun and, uh... The thing that fucking creative. sucks? Yeah, the thing that ac- absolutely broke my heart. thing that blows. Like, like, I'm not kidding. Like, I... I was crying so fucking hard the second, to, like the the minute I heard about it, that when my wife came into the room, she thought looked at me and thought one of my parents had died. Damn. It it, it hit me so hard. It's like 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 ever. Well, in, in case like if no one really fucking knows what we're talking about, the great. Legend, Letter Nimoy passed away. Uh, two days ago now was it? Uh, was it, yesterday? it was yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yesterday. And um, it absolutely sucks. It's just, I mean, for as long as I've been a Transformers fan, I've been a Star Trek fan, and that's one of the few people that has crossed both. Uh, hobbies for me and just all around just such a magnificent person uh, like that it just it, it's hard to imagine someone that I've idolized for so long just gone now yeah and I'm I'm getting to the age now where all the people I always looked up to when I was a kid are in their 70s and 80s and they're creeping up on on the and the end of their life and it's really depressing you know like you know uh, well, great actors have passed away recently such as well, Robin Williams and and you know, all they're really depressing and sad, but some, like, I'm sure, and I'm sure Robin Williams' death affected a lot of people more than, like, how Letter Nimoy affected people, and a lot of people would have reacted the same way that I, how, to Robin Williams, that how I reacted to Leonard Nimoy. Mm hmm. Because, like, they, they, it, very, it was just such a rough, rough day yesterday. And that I played when I was at work. I played Bilbo Baggins of the Shire, the song he sang back in the sixties and seventies as a tribute to him. Yeah, I was at work and I was just scrolling through Facebook on my break, and I saw it, and I was like, "Holy shit, that sucks!" Like, yeah, that put a damper on things. It really does suck. That's one I'm just like I didn't really hear anything from him for a while. And what's really weird and what really sucks too is he um, he was the voice of Master Xehanort in the Kingdom Hearts series. Yeah, and, uh, I, I heard about that too. I, I I've never played any Kingdom Hearts, but um, uh, one of my uh, friends told me about that. Yeah, he did, and uh, the Japanese voice actor for Master Xehanort passed away like two months ago. And really? yeah, and now he did. And the third game is supposed to come out in like 2017. And it's the f- the conclusion on the Xehanort saga, essentially. So. Huh. Yep. It's 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 rough, man. I mean, as I looked at like even back when he was in um that 2009 Star Trek he still looked pretty lively then Mm -hmm. but like when you look at him like just four years later in his uh, small little glimpse in Into Darkness Mm -hmm. tell that like just that four years took a pretty strong toll on him and I mean and um I forget what, what it was it was uh some sort of lung, uh, it wasn't lung cancer, but it was some sort of disease that was um, 
You know, uh, was I read uh, that it was COPD? That apparently, I I I glanced at it super quick, but like at one quote, he says like um he said he quit smoking thirty years ago, but then apparently that was not soon enough. Mm-hmm. Okay, apparently that had that much of a impact on him, and yeah, just one of the people that. Know, affected uh, my entire life from a childhood up until now and there's few people in the world that uh, un- unrelated to family that what that affected that affected me as much as him and there's and there's even fewer that you know I would have that much uh, of a reaction to if he if they were to pass, and it just absolutely does. I still still cannot imagine like, it, it, I just always you know imagine that he would be there forever. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was there my entire life, but now he's not. It absolutely sucks. Yeah, it does. I um, I posted some. I posted a status about it when I was at work, and I saw my mom liked it, and I was like, "Oh shit!" That means she knows. My mom, when uh, she was in high school, was a huge fan of, her, of uh, Star Trek, and whenever she, we talk about it, she tell me about you know who's still alive and who's dead now. And she's like, "I always wanted to meet Leonard Nimoy," and uh, when I saw it, I was like, "Oh man, my mom's gonna be heartbroken." And I came home that night, and I was like, "Did you hear about Leonard Nimoy?" And she was like, "Yeah, she's pretty." upset about it too and to quote um, James Kirk from Star Trek 2 Wrath of Khan at the end um, out of all the souls that I've encountered his was the most human he's awesome and, and he's gonna be missed from the whole community and just the impact he had on all of uh, all of um, all of all of uh, the geekdom and just entertainment all around everywhere from movies to TV to his uh, activism just just all around great guy but I think we should get back on track to the regular show a little bit. I like that show. Hey, real quick, yeah. I'm gonna show you something yeah. funny. Um, okay. Look at this picture of the Spider-Man Marvel Legends wave, and Anti Venom looks like he doesn't have arms or legs. Let's see. Uh, just because of white figure, white background. Yeah. Like how high the contrast is up on my laptop right now, it looks like he's literally just like a ghost. And you, you're expecting... Oh, I guess we'll get into that in a second, huh? Yeah. Alright, um, I guess we'll get into the first part of the show and we'll talk about our newest purchases and acquisitions. Mm-hmm. Um, real quick, I just want to mention I got uh, Combiner Wars Silver Bolt and Motormaster today. I got uh, Silver Bolt uh, yesterday. He's really neat. He is. I'm excited for Cyclonus. Um, what's that? Your your jazz for Cyclonus? Yeah. It it, it was kind of tricky figuring out how to get that Superion head to pop out. I I had played with the figure beforehand. Um, my buddy got it, but yeah, I uh, I really dug it when I played with it. So I kind of knew exactly how he worked because my buddy was really eager to show me how he uh, turned into uh, Superion. But yeah, he's damn cool. Motormaster is really cool too. I like the, I love the Manosaur head a lot. Mhm. I have not seen him around. And uh, I'm really glad I passed on the uh, on the uh, uh, Optimus Prime version because I just feel like that that uh, Optimus or that Motormaster works so much better. 
for that mold than I, I, what I said. Did I say backwards. I think the Motormaster works better than this uh, Optimus. Yeah. Uh, much much better. Colors I do work, too. work better. Uh, silvers, the grays. All oh, it, it it just seems like they just kind of half assed made a prime mold out of that for whatever reason. Just oh because. yeah. Um, um, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be, uh, getting that, um, Legends Dead End, or was it? It's like a little Legends car that, that completes Metasaur by form. Oh, I think it's like Blackjack or something. Blackjack, that's right. Um, because I think it looks fine without it. But, I mean, if I come across, I'm not going to actively pursue it, but I think it's kind of shitty that to complete them, you had to get a Legends class figure. Yeah, I I kind of like how it looks, but I don't really care uh, for the like the axe in the middle of the car, like the roof of it. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Yeah. Uh, and that's it from me. What'd you get? Ah, fuck! I got a lot of stuff. Uh, I am gonna say though, I want to touch on this. I know you don't care. Um, about this, but you you can encourage conversation for me about stuff I don't always care about. So I'm going to talk about Naruto for a second. Okay. Um, so Naruto for me is probably like uh, similar to how Dragon Ball Z was for you. Uh, I've right. been watching and following Naruto like essentially weekly uh, ever since I was nine years old. Um, so that's a little over ten years. And damn. Uh, this past Monday, me and my buddies who essentially uh, we were at a convention because... Uh, or I was at a convention cosplaying someone from Naruto, and my uh, my now buddy saw me and came up and talked to me. And then uh, uh, during photo shoots and stuff like that, uh, more of us started like to become friends because of you know we were all cosplaying the same thing, and it kind of brought all of us together. And we're all friends now to this day. Like one of them is my roommate now, and that's pretty cool. So we essentially all became friends. You know, because in real life we met each other over this one thing that we liked. And, you know, over the years, the story got really wonky and really crazy. Almost, you know, pretty even dumb at points. Um, but I stuck with it. And then this past Monday, we all got tickets to go see um, Naruto, the movie The Last. Which is a uh, the movie that takes place in between... Uh, in the last two chapters of Naruto, there's a time skip. Uh, one that is right after the war, and then the next issue picks up. Uh, the, at the final age we see them where they're all old and they have uh, children and this movie was the setup for so spoiler alert if you read like American adaptations or you know you don't care um, this movie is essentially about Naruto and Hinata getting together and I saw that and it really put a final chapter on this thing that I've been following every week for over 10 years and it hit me really hard they're like there's still gonna there's still gonna be more stuff for it. There's already a movie confirmed to come out next year about his son, but like for this actual story, this was a damn good closure. Like, and the movie was really dumb. The movie was really, really dumb. Like, it, it, we all went in knowing um, it was about the story of how Naruto and Hinata got together, so we didn't even care about like the movie villain. But it gets so outrageously crazy, and it is so fun to watch. I'm going to have to tell you about some stuff that happens in it because it's hilariously, like, ri ridiculous. Like, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say, they go to the moon at one point, and it's great. <laughs> it's great. Um, hey, let's go over here. We haven't been there yet. Why uh, how the fuck did they get to the moon? They fucking... <laughs> there's a portal <laughs> underground. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Uh... Why did they get to the moon? Why? Well, I'm just gonna let you watch. How the did they break on the moon? I I'm gonna let you watch it. <laughs> no, I don't, I have no, you can't just say when they went to the moon and not have. I'm gonna make you watch it. it. No, 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 I'm gonna make I'm you watch not, it. I'm not gonna watch it. You're gonna watch it. Um, yeah, it's something I got, but it's something I saw, and it was hit my feels really hard. Uh, I got more. Uh. Which colors? Uh, Marvel Legends. Legends. Uh, I I don't even know. Like I've ordered so so many. 
and just like receiving so many tracking numbers I'm just like what <laughs> yeah which it, ones did you get uh well like, I don't even know what I've got and what I haven't like gotten in the mail yet um I don't know if I've talked about but I got Kitty Pride a while ago, uh, but recently I got the entire Odin Build-A-Figure wave, and what sucks is I bought Iron Fist a while ago, and I had the leg, and when I got the rest of the pieces, I lost the leg, so I need to find it. I've turned up, like, every co- freaking crevice in my room, and I cannot find it. Damn. Um, but I got, that means I got Scarlet Witch, and I got Hawkeye, and Captain Marvel, and Sentry, and Thor. I didn't get Machine Man because I don't really care about Machine Man, and I don't care Machine really. Man looks stupid. Like it looks fun. I just don't care about him, and I'd like to have King Thor, but the the pegs like how um, they peg into um, the the torso piece that comes with Hawkeye. It's like the snap peg, so you can't like pop that out ever again without really breaking it. And I'm not about to like go through the inconvenience of having to buy another Hawkeye for another torso assembly and then get another Thor and another Iron Fist for the legs to make another King Thor. Too much work. I picked Odin. Um, Mm -hmm. But I really wanted uh, uh, Scarlet Witcher, uh, Captain Marvel, whoever came with the King Thor, like, head. Anyway, uh, I got those. I went to a Wizard World. Uh, We had a show up at Wizard World. What do you mean King Thor? It's not Odin? You you can choose the Build-A-Figure. I know, like, I know there's, like, two different heads, but I thought they were both Odin. One is King Thor. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Well, that's interesting. And, uh, the Scarlet Witch one comes with a King Thor head? Uh, I think it's sort of comes with King Thor, or it's Captain Marvel, I don't know. The, the, but those it are the will... two that comes with the, the weapon, head, and cape. Because, actually, I saw Scarlet Witch today, and I set it off to the side because I wasn't so sure if I wanted to get it or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, uh, I, I like her a bit. She's really, really cool, but I feel like she's she's really tall, I feel. Too tall? She's almost too tall, but, you know, she still works. She's much better than the old Toy Biz one. Oh, his eye patch is on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Um, I went to a convention recently because we had a show up in, uh, at the Cleveland Wizard World. Uh, we went up there for and uh, in the dealer room. I went. I kept looking around at booths. And I didn't find much, but this one guy for twelve bucks had a uh, uh, Iron Spider Man that I've been looking for, and it's the version I was looking for because I had one when I was younger, but I lost it. So I wanted it again for my Spider Verse shelf, and he's hot. He has all three of his legs, and it was super cheap. And then I went to, uh, like, and since I found that in, in the dealer room, I found nothing else for the rest of the time. And near the end of the convention, I walked up to a table, and I saw he had, like, one in a box. And he's like, what are you looking for? And I was like, I want Marvel Legends. I want uh, Marvel figures. Do you got any of those? He's like, yeah, right behind me. And he had, like, a wall of uh, stuff in box. Like, not a wall, but, like, a row. And he had Namor from, like, the Toy Biz Series 2 and Hulk from Toy Biz Series 1, and I got those. Damn. Yeah. I also, uh, in the mail, I got a custom Black Widow, um, which is made from, like, a Catwoman base, but it's still pretty cool. It works because the actual good Hasbro Black Widow is, like, 150 bucks, and I'm not about it. Um, who else? That's a transition. Yeah, I, okay. I bought, uh... I bought Black Widow and uh, a Marvel Legends War Machine from Toy Biz off of a guy, and I would bought him from the guy before, and he's a really good guy. It felt really bad, but I was so mad. A while ago, I bought a uh, Spider Woman from somebody, and when I got her, I couldn't move her hip at all. It was totally stuck, but you know, when I bought her, there's no mention of that. And I got War Machine in the mail, and I got him out of the envelope, and I went to move his leg, and I noticed it was paint stuck, and I thought it was just paint stuck. Went to move it, and it snapped the hip right off. Holy shit. I was pissed. Fuck. Like, okay, and I messaged him, and I was like, hey, so uh, I opened it right up, and it was paint stuck, and I didn't know, and it snapped it right off. And he's like, oh, well, that sucks. And I'm like, yeah, like, 
would have liked to know, like, if it was paint stuck and the, the joint was immovable, uh, that would have been cool to know. Uh, <laughs> he was like, well, sorry, man, I'll let you know if I find another war machine. Like, it wasn't his fault, you know, he's, uh, he's someone who, you know, traffics figures, essentially, he buys them from people and sells them to other people. That's fine. Um, he doesn't have time to check all of them. I just, like, that's just a situation that sucks. Give me a refund and another two figures. Yeah, give me a refund and give me my pick of any toy of yours. Not even that you're selling, but in your personal collection that I want. Um, for... Tra- your first daughter. What? That's weird. <laughs> um, oh, I also got, a, oh, like, fun. in the mail, I got Electro. Like, the Toy Biz, like, classic Electro. Crazy one. Uh, he's cool. And then, uh, for Transformies... Uh, I got Silverbolt and, uh, what is he, uh, drag strip. Ah, okay. So I got to make so a full, make... essentially a full Superion, yeah. Almost full Superion. Yeah, like, I said, I got, I got the gist of it. I didn't put any limbs on mine yet. I'm waiting for the last aerial bot to be released. I was weak, and it looked pretty good still. I put, uh, I used drag strip as a leg, so... He wasn't all up in there, but uh, it Superion works. Now I he's, I can never find a size comparison picture of Superion and Fall of Cybertron Bruticus. Mm-hmm. How big would you say they are together? I uh, they are in two totally different rooms, and actually my Bruticus is in a box somewhere. So mm, okay. Okay, dokie. Okay. Um, yeah, no, Combiner Wars is going places. I'm so excited for Wave 2. I was pretty jealous when you told me you got Motor Master. Because mm-hmm. I want to start making my Menasaur. And just the... the uh, I'm, not, I'm probably not even going to display him as Menasaur because I have the fans project. So they're probably going to stay as, like, uh, uh, pieces, like, on the actual Decepticon shelf. And not up top with the Combiners. Uh-huh. And I have drag strip with the Decepticons, like my classic Decepticons, and he works so well. He looks great. He he fits right in. So I'm excited to beef up classic Decepticons. Uh, that's it, essentially. Yeah, a lot of junk. Um. Yeah, I'm just waiting on. Uh, waiting on. I. Uh, it's kind of a slower waiting on uh, the deluxe waves to for Combiner Wars and hopefully next next month Star Saber. Oh yeah, I still need to get Magnus. I still need to get quite a few. You have plans to get Magnus soon? Yeah. You're gonna love him, I tell you. Um. Okay, first little bit of news. Uh, if I guess we want to call it news. Well, we already announced uh, Motor Master has been officially released in U.S. retail. Retail. But I still can't. F- I've just now been able to find deluxes in stores. Mm-hmm. So I probably won't even be able to find that for a while. Um, did you see the up close videos of Combiner Wars? Uh, Ultra Magnus showing how Minimus Ambus like stores in his chest. Yeah, I saw some of it. That's really cool. I'm really, really cool. digging that a lot. Like it, it, it kind of. I I guarantee. Well, I can't guarantee shit, but um, I'm willing to bet that there's going to be a third party company that's going to make a Matrix accessory that could store inside. Oh yeah. Because it opens perfectly like how a Matrix Chamber would. Mm-hmm. And at the yep. end of the video, they, I think at the end of this video, they showed a demonstration of how his uh, weapons can combine into the hammer. Oh, yeah. I didn't get that far, yeah. But I want to see that really because nice. I that was the mentioned to me, and I never saw any pictures of it. Um... And the same guy posted another video just showing some things about uh, Devastator, like just showing how clicking and bulky long haul is. 
Which mm-hmm. I, it's, I still think it's pretty funny how big he is. And yeah. how the, their weapon pods t- turn into hands, which mm-hmm. is pretty neat. Um, we got our first look at Galvatronus. Yeah. The uh, Cyclonus combined mode. Yeah, and they use like a mind control mind control thing for the story. I think is what they said. Mm-hmm. It's weird, but neat. I'm really wondering what what other um, uh, is he is he supposed to use the rest of the Stunticons? Because I see he's using drag strip. Uh, I don't know. I think it's just like any deluxe. Uh, from Combiner Wars, because, like, he brain can, or, uh, yeah, like, mind controls him or whatever, so, uh, anybody you wants, I guess. But I'm, I'm still gonna be passing on Cyclonus. I, w- I still, I would really like if they made a, a big, uh, Lear or Voyager class, uh, Galvatron. Mm-hmm. Because I still, I still got that nasty taste of Universe Galvatron in my mouth, that thing. That fucking thing. It's great. I know you like it. I'm okay with it. I don't like it. I'm fond of it, at least. But, Galvatronus is kind of a clever idea. Mm Mm-hmm. Gotta say that. Um, We got our first look at the Platinum Edition Blitzwing and Astro Train. Oh, yeah. Which is... Yeah. Which... Very weird colors. They're not G1 accurate at all. Um, Blitzwing is kind of like a mostly all red with a little bit of Catan on it, maybe. Mm-hmm. Astral Train is ugly as shit. Oh, wait. Speaking of which, speaking of tan, did you see that fucking dress thing? Yeah. Yeah, what color do you think it is? I see blue. I see blue too. I've seen both colors though. I never see, I never see white and gold. Yeah, my roommate's the same way. He always sees white and gold. He never ever sees it as blue. But I've seen it. I've watched it change. Um, my wife has seen it change, which is really fucking weird. Yep, I've seen it change. It's crazy. Oh, I see. I see blue. Weird. Right. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I think that was worth mentioning. Astro- <laughs> Astro Train is like mostly white, but the like midsection is orange with some blue on it, mm-hmm. and the tips of the wings are orange. It's what hideous. Yeah, they stopped trying. Yeah, I, like, at first when they when they when they said um, when they uh, said they were going to be released, I was like, oh, I've never had those toys before. I might be interested in those, and I'm like, whoa. Do not want. Do not. Have, what's your level of do not want? Zero. Oh, so you do want them? No, uh, the level of want. Level of do want not want. Meter. You do not want a meter. Oh, like zero is I kind of want it, and ten is I want it as far from me as possible. I don't know. I'm done with this. Okay. This has gone too far. I'd say about nine. All right. Um, new images of master. Oh yeah, first off, uh, the next masterpiece was announced to be tracks. Oh yeah. How do you feel about that? Is I'm okay with it. It's really weird, but whatever. Weird choice. It was a weird choice. I was cut because I uh what was that at um. New Jersey Comic Con, they announced that uh, Ironhide was coming soon. Yeah. I was kind of expecting er, wait. him. Wait. What? Yeah. Uh, they're, they're making Ironhide? Yeah. For sure? That's what they said, yeah. Oh, damn. Um... Go get a drink then. He's he needs to tell me he's thirsty. That's okay. Which is so so bizarre. I don't understand it. Um, 
Yeah, yeah they're going to do something about it. Yeah, like, what do you want me to fucking do? Shit. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too into tracks. But if it was Ironhide coming out next, I de- definitely going to pick that one up. Uh, the only other car masterpiece version of I would really like to see is Jazz. I, I do want to see a Jazz. Be That'd be really cool. Yeah, I I've had little to no interest in the past masterpiece cars, mm-hmm. but. Ironhide was always one of my favorite G1 characters in Jazz, and if they make Jazz, then hell yeah. Over that. But I'm for now, until Ironhide comes out, I'm sticking to the bigger masterpieces, and Star Saber's coming out soon, I can't wait. Then we got new pictures of of him in Hobby, or was it, uh, what magazine? Of, uh, Tag Hobby, I guess. This is a weird magazine, but they showed like how the Brain Master gimmick works a little bit clearer. Showed yeah. um, how Saber combines and how the helmet actually flips up over. So, I mean, most of the stuff is stuff we seem but we get to see a, a little bit better clip of the process. And apparently, he does have like a uh, a ab crunch, mm-hmm. which looks really neat. Like in this one picture, his waist is tilted backwards. But his uh, torso is bended forwards, so he, this guy is gonna be crazy articulated. Oh yeah. Yep. Um, but tracks is meh. a while back ago the uh, Optimus Prime Ultimate Edition from Asia, which was like a kind of like a masterpiece style packaging for the RLTF leader class. Uh, Optimus Prime mode, which came, which is a repaint of the uh, Striker Optimus Prime with the jet wing and a whole bunch of different accessories, was announced a while back ago. But then they uh, said that they would come like a premium something. I forget their limited premium special surprise or whatever, and they would announce it later. Apparently. What that means is it was just announced that it's going to also include a mini AllSpark cube, mm-hmm. but it's only in selected stores in Asia. It'll come with a metal card, which is basically like a uh, it says a serial number and pre- kind of like proof of purchase. Yeah. Um, which is pretty underwhelming, I think. Yeah. I, I was, a mini AllSpark cube who really needs that. Yeah. For two hundred and sixty something dollars, I don't think it's worth it anymore. Yeah. It's a little weird. Um uh, yeah. Ah, well the Oscars happened last weekend. I did not well, watch was, any of it. I was working so I couldn't watch any of it. Um but I don't even know who won anything. I know that Birdman won Best Picture and I was excited about that because I love Birdman. Did it win Best Picture? Yep. All I know about that movie is that uh, when I still worked at the movie theater, we got in a poster for it. But I like since I stopped working there, I stopped paying attention to movies for a long while. I would really check out Birdman because that's a really really good movie. I like yeah. it a lot. I should. Uh, but. But also something that happened was the Razzies. Oh, how many did know. Transformers 4 win? All of them? Two. Only two this year. No. Were they <laughs> nominated for literally every one? Basically, yeah. Uh, what um, would they win Razzies for? Uh, Kelsey Grammer for Worst Supporting Actor. <laughs> what the fuck? Which is really fucking stupid because I thought he was one of the best actors in that whole movie. And Michael Bay for worst director, which, why? He didn't write I'd, the fucking thing. I don't give a fuck about the Razzies. <laughs> Razzies are dumb. Razzies yep. are hey, let's be more dumb. Like let's continue the dumb from these dumb summer movies. Stop! Who fucking cares? Movies are dumb. Get over it. 
Very much so. But that's so. probably also the, the, the thing, so. Mm-hmm. Also, Combiner Wars uh, leader class Megatrons were released in U.S. retail. Oh, yeah. I want it. You Are you going to get both of them? I'm thinking I'm going to get both eventually, but like not right off the bat. So I need to decide which one I want initially. You don't know yet? I don't know yet. I think I it might be G1. Right. I think if you have to go with one of them, I think G1 was the way to go. Yeah. But Armada is so cool. It is cool. Armada is damn cool. He's got the deer antlers. Yeah, he does. Su- surprisingly, that mold works on that design pretty well. Hell yeah. I don't know. I don't think I can get both. I'm going to just try to get the G1 version. Sad. Yeah. Not really. Um, like, it doesn't really affect me if you don't buy a toy. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. You got a drink and binge. Binge what? drinking every time. Why? 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 It's not know. that big of a deal. It, it's not, but it still sends you to a fucking depression, man. Alright, shit. Uh, Avengers Age of Ultron Hot Toys Hulk Deluxe Set was revealed. Deluxe Set? What's the difference? Yeah. Um, it comes with an entirely different torso. Like, it actually comes with two torsos. It comes with the standard one, which is the same as the first one, but it has a, a head with an open mouth. But it also comes with a torso that is not poseable at all, but he has his arms up in the air like he's about to fucking smash the shit out of the ground. Let Have you seen that? This. I'm looking at it now. Oh, here's the feature picture. Oh, I it's see. So it has one with poseable arms and then one with just a set. That's cool. I, it's, apparently, this is the first Hot Toys figure that come with like two different torsos. Yeah, it's a pretty weird feature. Yeah, I'm still not a fan of the Hot Toys Hulk. I'm not sure why. It just doesn't appeal to me. And he has purple pants, which is silly. Yeah, well, comes with the package. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also going on for Marvel, uh, we th- also got reveals of SH figures, Avengers Age of Ultron figures. Ooh, yeah. Saw Thor, Captain America, Iron Man Mark 33, and Hulk, and we also got a kind of a, a tease of Hulkbuster. Yeah, because who else are they going to make? I'm not sure how to feel about these guys. I'm pretty excited. I'm probably not going to go uh, whole hog and pre-order them all right off the bat. But Let's I'm see. interested. Yeah. The Barnes & Noble near my house carries SH Figure Arts. Really? So I guess, you know, yeah, I guess I could, uh, you know, see if I might be able to find them and how I like them in person. If the, if the Hulk the Hulkbusters uh, get when that thing gets released. That would be a good substitute for people that can't get the Marvel Legends Hulkbuster. Yeah, but how much do you I'd think imagine. this Marvel Legends Hulk or uh, SH Figure Arts Hulkbuster would cost? Probably cost like ninety dollars still. Hmm. How how tall do you think the Iron Man and Captain America would be? Do you think they'd be Marvel Legends sized? Yeah, they'd be six inch scale. Okay. But I'm thinking Hulkbuster would be about as big as Broly, who is about, you know, retails for like 80 to $90. Mm-hmm. Pretty exalt, but I'm, man, that Marvel Legends Hulkbuster. Yeah, I, um, I might have just put an order down on a Toy Biz uh, comic Hulkbuster, so. At some point, I'll be able to have both, both, both next to the, both. Yep, next to each other. I'm excited for both. Um, both. and 
that's about it as far as news goes that I have anyway. Yeah, I don't really have too much either. Any other odds or ends? Uh, no, like, yeah, there's really uh, no new toy news. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything on TFW at all. Did you see the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2014 Spitfire version? <laughs> nope. Check it out. It's actually pretty sweet. Does it literally just come with a fire accessory? And it's, uh... Spines are blue. Oh. I'm sorry. I've played with the 2014 one. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. It should have come with an effect of the uh, Muto getting its head ripped off its body. Uh huh. Although it would look kind of odd unless he already constantly had that fire accessory attached. Yeah, it kind of would. Well, unless there's a way to pose him like looking like he's charging up. Uh huh. That'd look pretty Jeez. right. Yeah, some titties. Um. Oh, yeah, that's what? it. What? Questions? Um. Let's find out. My computer likes to run like crap. Computer blue screen. I was like, well, time to buy a new computer. I knew it. It doesn't seem like that long ago you bought that computer. Yeah, well, I thought about that too. It's been quite a few years. I got this computer in like 20. 11 yeah so you got around the same time we started Primecast yeah damn it's crazy uh, so I'm probably due for a new one for how much I use it but I don't know I'm trying to keep up with it and it's just getting hard um we have one question and it's from Russell McMillan name I haven't heard in a while uh, it says, hey guys, I just wanted to share my custom Age of Extinction Galvatron c custom I built with Bionicle Parts. I've sent three photos in this email, and I hope you get them. I'll link these to you. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. He gave him, like, beefed up armor. This isn't going to trans well for audio. Unless <laughs> you want to put up a picture of it for the audience to see. Yeah, I'll put up here. Let me see. Oh, he gave him like weapons too. Open, damn it, open. Are you getting it? Um, I don't know. I am not getting it. Mm. Oh wait. Okay. Hold on. Wait. I think it's. it's Gonna to try to have me log into your email. Weird. Okay, here. I'm just gonna do this. Uh. Duh. Gave him like beefed up armor, and then he uh gave him like a new weapon, and then added a like blade to his cannon, and the cannon blade actually looks really cool. And you crashed my safari. Did I? Yeah. Oh well. It's not working. Well, there's that link, so when you can, look at it. For Take my word for it. It actually looks pretty rowdy. Okay. I need more Bionicle pieces. That would be great. I saw the new Bionicles in the stores. I kind of wanted to buy them. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So it's not really a question. It's just like, hey, look at this. Yep. That's fine. <laughs> A <laughs> uh, little it's bit something. of a short, short show, I guess, this week, guys. Um, but I, I guess that just comes with the comes with the fucking job every now and then. Like we never hardly ever do forty-five minute shows. Like yeah, ever. Yeah. All right, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to send them in to Primecast Q and A at gmail dot com. That's Primecast Quanda at gmail dot com. Please do so. Yeah. If anyone's listening out there. Yeah. If you listen to a whole episode, 
um, please type in to the comments live long and prosper in honor of you know who let's just know you watch the whole episode makes us happy I agree uh, you can follow me at twitter at twitter.com slash ssjautobot you can uh, follow me at instagram ssjautobot and you can follow me at twitch at twitch.com slash ssj underscore or twitch.tv I'm sorry ssj underscore autobot yeah you, know, you can follow me on twitter at incubator if mine's even still active yeah you posted on there a minute ago I think like a couple of days ago I think wasn't it probably like a week ago yeah do that shit Alright guys, until next time. Thank you for listening and watching. See ya. One more. <laughs>